Now in this question number one. Now there are some six persons seated around a triangular table, and again, and three persons at each corner facing away from the center. Now this is a triangular table. Now three persons are at the corners facing which direction? Away from the center, and the remaining three persons are facing towards the center. And three are away, and three are facing towards the center. Then, and they like different flowers as well. How many flowers? Six different flowers. One person between R and the one who likes jasmine, R sits at the middle of the table. Where is this R? R is at middle of the table. And one person between R and the one who likes jasmine, how many possibilities we have? Two points. The one who likes jasmine can be left hand side of R or right hand side. Hence, so there are two different possibilities in this. And away from the center, persons who are at the center are facing towards the center. Now R is here. And the one who likes the jasmine is to the right hand side of R. And T sits second to the left of the one who likes tulip. Now T sits second to the left of the one who likes tulip. Now tulip. T sits second to the left of the one who likes tulip. Tulip and T must be like this. And T sits second to the left of the one tulip. U is not an immediate neighbor of the one marigold. And U and marigold are not adjacent to each other. And Q sits second to the right of the one who likes lotus. Now Q is seated second to the right of the one who likes lotus. Q is here, and T likes neither rose nor lotus. Now T is neither rose nor lotus. The next one, and S likes marigold and sits out to the right of the one lotus. S likes marigold, sits out to the right of the one who likes lotus. That means out to the right or out to the left is nothing but they are opposite to each other because only six persons were there. Hence S and S likes marigold and sits it out to the right of this one. Hence S who likes marigold and lotus, these two persons must be opposite to each other. Then opposite to each other. Then tell me what are the different possibilities we have? Can we have S at this place? No, because S must like what marigold. And can we have S at this place marigold? Then R can be lotus. There is a possibility. R Yes, we can have here. Yes, cannot be at this place. And so many possibilities. So have two different possibilities as of now. Now yes and marigold. Now if yes marigold is here, then this person must like lotus, isn't it? Lotus is here. Q is the second of the right of the one lotus. Then Q must be here. And and T likes T likes neither rose nor lotus. And T neither likes nor lot. And T is second of the left of the one to like. And T is seated second to the left of the one who likes to lay. Then, my T and to lay. What is the possibility we have? And T is seated second to the left of the one to lay. And T cannot be here. And next one. Can we have T at this place? My T is going to be there. T is seated second to the left of to lay. And S and Mary go to the ground of to lay. Is it possible? No. And so where should this T? And T is here. Now T is here. Now. Two lip must be here. Sir, be na. And T is sits second to the left of the one who like two lip. And U is not an immediate neighbor of the one marigold. As U is not an immediate neighbor of the marigold, U is here. Then if U is at this place, then who is the only person left over? Ma, middle pen jawar jab pani kya? P Q R. Now P is the person left over. Ma, follow out na le da. Follow the jawar middle pen inte matlar pen inte mare. Then P. Then next one. T neither rose nor lotus. T is neither rose nor lotus. Hence T cannot be rose. Q must be rose. Isn't it? Now Q is rose. Then tulip. Then T sits second to the left of tulip. Tulip I put together. Then what else is left over here? And P likes neither rose nor lily. And P neither rose and sits at the corner of the table. Now here P is not at the corner of the table. P is at the center of it. Clear. And finally, as we have taken S is at this place, now P is coming to the center, which is not possible. Clear. Then what is the other possibility we have? Then the other possibility is now we need to fix this S. Now S marigold. Can we have S marigold at this place or not? S marigold. Then P is at the corner. As P is at the corner, and P can be either here or P can be here. If S marigold is here, opposite to whom? Opposite to lotus. And lotus and cube. And where is this cube? 
and lotus and q sits in second to the right of lotus q is now q is here then t and tulip now t and tulip now where can you have this tulip here t and tulip the t sits in second to the left of tulip now t is here second to the left of tulip then p will be at this place sir friend the p is at the corner then who is the person of your here p q r s t and u is here. then t legs T neither rose nor lotus. Neither rose nor lotus. Hence, who must like rose or like roses? Then, what is the only flower left over? Lily. Not T likes lily. Then, now this is about question numbers one to five. Then next one, six onwards. And six to ten, there are some five questions on this inequalities, the relation between U and E. Now between U and E, opposite symbol, isn't it? And next one, second, and U and K. Now U and K, opposite symbol. Then if you observe here, U and E, E and K are one and the same. Hence, in the place of E, you can take it as K. Now between U and K, opposite symbol, one is greater than or equals to, the other one is lesser. Hence, either one or two choice by question number six. Then seventh one, and seventh one W and P, and between W and P, W and P, W lesser than P is two, isn't it? Now, but not equals to between W and P, and P equals to Q, W lesser than Q, definitely two choice. Then eighth one, the relation between D and G. Now G and D, G lesser than D means D greater than G, but not equals to, and K and O. Now between K and O again opposite symbols, so no relation. Hence, what is your answer? Neither one nor two. Choice three. Question number eight. Then ninth one. U and W. W and U. W greater than U. U lesser than W. And next one. T and G. Now G and T. G lesser than or equals to T. T greater than or equals to G. Hence, both one and two. Choice four. Question number nine. Then tenth one. T and K. Now T equals to W. Isn't it? Now T equals to W. Then T and K. K is here, T is here. K greater than or equals to T. K greater than or equals to T means T less than or equals to K. Is it T less than or equals to K? Now T less than K and T equals to K and K and W are one and the same in the place of W. You can take this. Then what is your answer? Either one or two. So I say question number ten. The next one, eleventh one, and eleven to fifteen boxes. How many boxes are there? Only seven boxes we have, and they are placed one above the other. Three boxes are placed between G and E. Now in between G and E, how many are there? Three. Now G is here. One, two, three e is here. One possible. And in the next possibility, E is above and G is below. Hence, three boxes between E and G. F is placed below D. And where is this F? F is placed below D. D, which is not placed below G. D is not placed below G means D must be above G, and D is above this G. As D is above this G, and D can be here or above this one, isn't it? And D is above this G. And next one, which is not placed below, two boxes between A and C. Now in between A and C there must be exactly two boxes, and two boxes between A and C there are two, and D is placed immediately below B. Now D is placed immediately below B. B is. Now in that case, all the seven were filled. Now in between A and C, two boxes is not possible. What's the reason? Now this is ruled out. Now we have left with this one. Then two boxes. D is placed immediately below B. Now D is placed immediately below B. B and D must be like this. And these two are above this F. As these two are above this F, then And D is above this F. G is placed below A. Now this G is placed below A. G is placed below. F is placed above C, but not to B. F is placed above whom? Above C, but below G. F is placed above C. F is placed above C, but below B. B, F, and C must be the same. Must it be that? Now in this one. Now E is here. B and D must be together. As B and D must be together. B, D. Then we need to have F. 
and after this f you need to have c now between a and c there must be exactly two and what is the possibility we have then if you take b here then d will be here and after this one a and c there must be exactly two isn't it one two one more must be here and one two. one two three four five six seven a and c must be there are two and c is here because c must be below this f as well and c a is here now if a is here f must be must help in order now e b d a g f c f is placed above c and but below b a and c there are two boxes d and d are adjacent and f is below this one c is below Now eleven to fifteen. The next one sixteen to nineteen. Now in the sixteen to nineteen, syllogisms only a few chess are football. Only some of the chess are football, but not all. And some chess are football, but not all. Only some chess are football, but not all. And all football are cricket. Now the center football is what cricket. And some crickets are not coco. And some crickets are not coco. No intersection between cricket and a coco. All footballs can be coco. All footballs can be coco. Now tell me, is it possible to write coco like this or not? Man, write chale ra. Ask thara. All footballs are coco. What is the statement? We have some cricket are not coco. Only can write ram. Man, write chale ra. Yes. Why is this? Ah, some. Now these are the crickets that are not coco. Statement is valid or not? Yes, statement valid. Alternate diagram two previous, and it cannot be possible. And it is possible or not? It is possible. Am I possible or not? Yes, it is possible. And all football or coco is possible. Some coco or not cricket. As of now, some coco or not cricket is true. Now to make this one false, I need to prove all coco or cricket. All coco or cricket, I need to write coco like this. Can I write coco like this? Am I right, sir? Now, if you write poker, some cricket or not poker. Still, these are the cricket which are not poker is valid. And alternate diagram to previous conclusion point. And for your answer, only one sixteen choice. Clear? Then next one seventeenth one. Now in this seventeen, only a few books are pens. Only some of the books are pens, but not all. Only some books are pens, but not all. Some books are pens, but not all. And some pens are not chair. Now some of the pens are not chairs. Some pens are not chairs, and all chairs are tables. And the center chair is a part of this table. The first one, some books are not table. Book is here, table is there. As of now, that is true. Some tables are not chairs. That is also. Now to make the first one false, we need to prove all books are tables. All books are tables means my diagram of book must be like table must be like. When I write, sir, you know. Yes, it is possible. Hence, alternate diagram to previous conclusion false. And some tables are not chairs. Now I need to prove all tables are chairs. Is it possible? All chairs are table. Chair equals to table. Is it possible or not? Yes. Hence, why is no? Now some tables are not chairs. Means table and chair. Tell me whether I can able to write like this or not. Yes, alternate diagram to previous conclusion false. And so neither one nor two choice for question number seventeen. Then the next one eighteen one. Now in this eighteen, all tables are chairs. Now in this eighteen, all these tables are what? This entire table is a part of this chair, and only a few chairs are pencils. Only some chairs are pencils, but not all. And all pencils are pens. Now this entire pencil is a part of what? Pencil is a part of pen. Then all pencils are pens. Some tables are not pencils. That is definitely true. All tables are pencils. That is false. Now to make this one false, I need to prove all tables are pencils. All tables are pencils. Tell me, is it possible or not? This center table is a part of this pencil. Is that possible, sir? Is that not? Then by writing down like this, and it is false. Alternate diagram to previous conclusion false. And all tables are pencils has become true now. And so what is your answer? Either one or two. Either one or two. That is choice three. Question number eighteen. Next one, nineteenth one. Only a few blues are black. 
only few blues are black some blues are black but not all and some blues are black but not all then next one and some black are brown black and brown intersection between all black are yellow the center black is a part of yellow then first one some yellow are black some yellow are black that is definitely true and some blues can be brown now some blues can be brown and blue and brown can be intersected like this or not mean are of course get the blue and brown yes and it is possible what is your answer both one and two choice by 19 the next one 20 9 is 20 now if it is possible to make a meaningful word from 2 3 8 10 now 2 3 8 10 and 10 then tell me what is the word that can be formed is u n e t now with the help of this one any word that can be formed no t u n e t shown Now, tune is the word that can be formed. Then, now then the letter of the word is your answer. Which letter here? Tenth letter, third letter. What is the third letter? We have N. N. That is choice for question number.